thank you for hanging out with us today. Got a great show lined up for you. Got my boy TJ, the troublesome one, in the studio. Yeah. He used to be the troublesome juvenile. Now he is the trouble man. Right. I'm the veteran uh, young person. <laughs> <laughs> yes. All right. Oh, man. TJ, man. Welcome to the show, brother. Ah, what's, hey, it's very happy to be here. I'm All very right. happy to be here. Now, today we got some interesting news stories, okay? A few things to talk about. You know, Allen Iverson is officially retired. Really? How about that? I, I thought he was playing over there across the seas. And, nah, that uh, didn't work out. To make some money. Didn't work out too good. Uh, no. But, I, you know, when I heard this, I said, well, wait, hasn't he already been retired? But apparently he has not made it official yet. Oh, so okay. according to ESPN, he'll do that at the 76ers home opener on October 30th. So it's going to be a big ceremony, you know. They'll probably put his... Jersey up in the rafters. Why? He ain't dead. Well, now, wait a minute now. No, uh, I was in play. He played for 14 years. He was drafted number one out of Georgetown. He was rookie of the year in 1997. He took the uh, 76ers to the NBA Finals in 2001. Was the league MVP that same year. Of course, they lost to the Lakers that year, but, mm -hmm. you know, hey, it was Kobe and Shaq. Kobe and Shaq. Yeah, what are you yes. going to do? Yeah, what can you do? Sad thing, he, you know, he kind of fell off at the end and he lost his, his mind a little bit. Lost butt. all his money. He apparently has no money now. What? He should have. When that happened, when he was traded to Detroit, everybody <laughs> kept seeing him up in the casino all the time, going all kinds of money. Yeah, yeah. You got to be careful, man, and hold on to that money. It don't last forever. You know. Speaking of divorce, Master P's wife, Sonia Miller, has filed for divorce, ending their 24-year marriage. What? And you know what that means. Oh, you know the reason, of course. Uh, the number one reason... It ain't my fault. <laughs> <laughs> number one reason for divorce, irreconcilable differences. Whatever right. the hell that means. That means we just can't get along. It's over, baby. <laughs> now, they have four minor children. Of course, she wants full custody. Of course. And of course she wants spousal support. Which, of course. Yeah, for 24 years. But you know, she deserves that. She deserves it. Sure. Cam <laughs> Frodo, 88.1 WHPR, Billy T and TJ hanging out with you, the Billy T Show, the Billy T television experiment underway. TJ, we uh, you got a story about Biggie Smalls. Biggie Smalls, yo. All his from Planet of Brooklyn and all the Brooklyn Knights are going crazy because they are supposed to name the corner of St. James Place and Fulton Street uh, Biggie Biggie Smalls uh, Biggie Christopher Wallace Christopher Wallace Way. Okay, but <laughs> sounds good. Why not? Yes, sure. But the City Council said that he's a misogynistic uh, criminal. Uh, and he's too fat to be honored. Whoa, 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 wait a minute. <laughs> with a street after his name. Okay, I'm okay with the misogynistic criminal being a, 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 you know, an excuse. But being too fat? Yes, and only one person said, yo, his weight should not be one of the criteria criteria exactly. of him not being honored. Maybe the misogynistic criminal part. Right. He's too fat. I mean, oh, that's terrible. His name You're is too small. <laughs> you are too fat to get a street named after you. Right. Why not? It's a street. Right. <laughs> I can cover the whole street. I can. It's and wide they, enough. If the debate goes on. Who's the best rapper? Tupac or Biggie Small? Mm -hmm. I don't want to. That get debate will rage on. Yes. All right, what else you got? You know Blair Underwood, right? Yeah, he's got that new TV new show. TV he's playing show. Ironside, the Black yes. Ironside. Ironside was a great show back in the day. Yes, it was. Oh, man, I can't wait to see it. But they canceled it what? only after three episodes. What? Right? They said the ratings, they, they I don't see wait a how minute. they got into the ratings so quick. It was just one, three episodes. Hold up, I have so, not even seen the show. Yes, so it was, it was canceled. You oh, come on. It. Yeah, sure. I should have DVR. <laughs> yeah. Uh, your man Dominican Sue oh, has man. been in a little trouble. What is happening with him? It seems like they are picking on Sue. It feels like that. He was fine against the Vikings when he had that low back, that low block on John Sullivan, a mm -hmm. hundred and a hundred thousand dollars. Yep, and it was not overturned. Right. 
Mm -hmm. he, he appealed it, and no, you have to pay. Mm -hmm. Okay, now put a hit on the Cleveland Browns quarterback, Brandon Wheaton. He got fined thirty-one thousand five hundred dollars, mm -hmm. but that hit was like everybody is saying that hit is normal. A normal football player. It was a regular it wasn't play. Nothing dirty. Nothing, nothing like that. Exactly. So, a lot of people is speaking out against the NFL, saying that it's basically a witch hunt. It's, it's uh, you know, a, a lot. A lot of people Sue. are saying that. Yeah. Oh, you, so they're defending Sue a little yeah, bit. Yeah. On on this on particular this, hit. Yeah. Because it's really his reputation hit. that they're going after. Right. And that play was not that bad. And you know, it, they 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 is really softening up the game of football. If you ask me, it's like okay. The quarterbacks, they need to be protected. You know, no late hits on the quarterback. Don't True. drive your head into the quarterback. True, we, we agree with all like that. that. But, yeah. you know, once you're knocking them down, you get fined for that. and you It's, it's like it's getting ready to be tackled. You can't, I mean, uh, flag, 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 football. flag football. That's what it's getting ready to but be. But now we must also admit that Dominican Sue has done some dirty things <laughs> in his career. So yeah, yeah. And maybe it's catching up with him. Yeah, that is definitely. Let's hope that he can, you know, cool himself off and maintain, and stay, you know, and stay in the game if we need it. Right. Friends Cocktail Lounge, located at 21633 West 8 Mile at Losser, where, where grown folks meet. meet. Great for birthday parties or meeting friends after work for happy hour. The best kept secret on 8 Mile. And every Wednesday, join me, Billy T, for Wine and Rhythm Wednesday, featuring live music from some of Detroit's best bands with jazz, R&B, and classic soul. Join, join us, us for Monday, Monday Night Football, Football. Tuesday, Tuesday karaoke, karaoke with Cheryl Girl. Friends Cocktail Lounge, 8 Mile and Losser. Come in as a stranger and leave as a friend.